Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, the cornerstone commandment of I do, and sometimes the basis for I'll sue. I have so many cases that have come my way since like we last spoke that it would it has surprised me. We first sat down with Forsyth County trial attorney Scott Smith a couple years ago, shortly after an appeals court upheld his client's high profile case for alienation of affection. One of my arguments was, you know, just because we don't like something doesn't mean it's unconstitutional. North Carolina is one of only six states plus Puerto Rico where alienation of affection is still legal. A spouse can sue any person they believe alienated the happy marriage. So some scholars call it a mother-in-law suit because indeed an in-law can, can get involved in a marriage. Family law attorney Jessica Culver feels the law's origin is antiquated. This comes from the same dogma that created um, the idea that women wives are their husband's property. Alienation of affection dates back to old English law. North Carolina first recognized it in Barbie versus Armstead in 1849. Two decades later, the Married Women's Property Act let women sue too. This is an issue we've been talking about for years. Democratic State Representative Pricey Harrison co-sponsors the latest effort to squash the statute. And uh, I think it's time to modernize our statutes to reflect that. Twin bills would revamp North Carolina's divorce laws, mostly to speed up and relax rules on legal separation, but also to abolish alienation of affection. If there was a particularly high profile uh, case involving one of our colleagues uh, mm. recently, that might have given some members pause. She's referencing former state rep from Alamance and Guilford counties, Rick Gunn, sued last August by the husband of his then legislative aide. The suit claims Gunn broke up the marriage. Gunn's attorney couldn't comment on the open case, but said, quote, it'll be dismissed in the near future. So, some cases settle um, based on just uh, threats of litigation, but I will tell you the number of calls I get per week staggering and phenomenal. Yet while money can mediate, can it mend misery? Can it fix a broken heart? I'm not so sure. Do you think in the near future it's even going to exist anymore? Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine in that regard. I didn't think this would be around um, by 2010. For now, the law lives until love prevails or legislation do it part. In Greensboro, Megan Malaris, WFMY News 2.